prayer time at the Notre Dame de l'Atlas monastery. Father Jean-Pierre Schumacher knows what he's talking about when he mentions the need to build bridges between men. He's the last surviving Tiberine monk in Algeria. In this rare video, the interior of the Tiberine monastery in Algeria in the 1990s. At the height of the Algerian civil war, seven Trappist monks were abducted here. The kidnapping was blamed on Islamist militias. Those words were the monks' last proof of life. Their decapitated heads were discovered a few weeks later. But their bodies were never found. Jean-Pierre Schumacher survived by hiding in his bedroom. He remained in Algeria until 1999 before moving to Morocco. There was a rivalry between the armed Islamic group of Algeria and the army, and we were caught in between. Each side wanted us to join them, but our only wish was that they would reconcile and make peace. That's one of the reasons behind our decision to stay there. Like his companions, he wanted to share the fate of the Algerian people, whatever the cost. After my brothers died, I was in Algiers with Father Amede. And all of a sudden, I thought, let's not just focus on the monks. Let's think about all these Algerians who died the same way. If it had been our neighbors who had come and asked us to leave, we would have left. That's right. But whatever authority could have asked us whatever they wanted, we were not going anywhere. We didn't listen. Sometimes I think that might have been one of the reasons behind the kidnapping. We were not obeying the authorities. <laughs> the legacy of the monks who were killed is everywhere at Notre Dame de l'Atlas here in Morocco. This is a memorial for our seven brothers. In this room where the monks' portraits are hung, in the guest rooms that host travelers. Il s'appelle euh, Frère Christophe, Frère Bruno, Frère Célestin. And even in the library, where the books that were once in Algeria have found a permanent home. It's really important for us to have these books. We can really reconnect with our brothers' way of thinking, and especially what they found meaningful in these books. I really reconnected with Christian through his love for the Quran, because we know that he prayed with the Quran. He used the Quran for his prayers. Christian de Cherger was the prior in Algeria's Tiberine monk community. Throughout his entire life, he tried to create a fruitful dialogue with Islam. And just like in Tiberine, the monks here in Morocco refused to attempt to convert Muslims. <laughs> Here is my little mosque where I pray. I used to pray on the terrace, and Father Jean-Pierre told me, instead of praying on the terrace, why don't you make yourself a little mosque for you and the other Muslims? A monastery with a small room for Muslims. It's great. Rabha has been with the monks almost since they got here. She became their cook soon after she lost her husband. They're believers just like us. If someone tells them that I need to go to the hospital, they will help me. If there's a death, they will give the family a hand. If someone calls them, they won't come empty-handed. The Tiberine monks were beatified on December 8, 2018, along with 12 other clerics who were assassinated in the 1990s. Father Jean-Pierre Schumacher often wonders why he'd survived. Here we're trying to live the very same way we used to back in Algeria. We never try to convert people to our faith. You know, the day I was told that our brothers had left us, I wondered, why was I still here alive? 
Why is my lamp still turned on? I was constantly thinking about this. But one day, a sister wrote to me and she told me, some lives have been taken away to be a testament of the greatest love there is. And others have remained so that they could carry out this message by living. So am I doing this right? Well, only God can tell. Today, the Tiburine Monastery in Algeria is just a shadow of its former self. But the spirit of the monks lives on across the border in the Atlas Mountains.